Hey, welcome back to camp. We're gonna try something out for you today. Clear path with the Billy Goat Outback. What do you call it? A brush? Something brush cutter. Brush cutter. Brush cutter. Borrowed it from the Home Deep. And we got the review on the uh, polar trailer. Polar trailer, the HDM 1400 from Northern Tool. And look at this. This thing fits perfectly on there. I mean, it just squeaked on there. But it fits. Which is good, so we don't have to walk it all the way back to where we're going. Because we're going about three quarters of the way back to the property. And we'll let you know how this thing works. pretty good so if you're thinking about renting one of these quick little uh, primer here you it's got throttle throttle control choke full start it does have a fuel shut off underneath here and then this is the for the drive, you can pull it out to roll it around by hand, or when you push it in, the drive, the hydrostatic drive is enabled. It is hydrostatically driven, which is pretty nice. You got a, a reverse on this side, forward on this side, and this engages your blades.
go eat in the outhouse. <laughs> yeah, that sounds This is the only thing I worried about, and it definitely came true, is that thing only cuts down so far. So then you got these pieces that stick up that could possibly poke holes in tires, or just be a trip hazard. Well, I think we're wrapping it up for today. That uh, billy goat brush cutter is a pretty amazing piece of machinery. I had my uh, doubts about how well it would do with some of the smaller trees and stuff, but it, it mows right through them without even, you know, you don't even feel the engine bogging down or anything. Of course, if you start hitting some big stuff, we had a few downed logs that uh, I think only one time we killed it by hitting something. Um, the only thing I'm not crazy about is, again, as I showed you, the it leaves a little bit of a stem sticking up, but we can come through with loppers and clean that all up. We made a lot of trail today. Uh, where in the past we were always just doing it with chainsaws and whoppers. Hope it's not too windy here. Uh, and it's so much faster. I wish I could buy one of those brush cutters. Let me try to find one used. 
But if you're thinking about uh, renting one from Home Depot or somewhere, definitely do it. There's, you know, there's hills. I, I don't know if you can tell how much of a hill this is. But that thing pulls itself right up hills. We have a bunch of rough terrain out here, a bunch of rocks. Never really hit any rocks. You know, it stays stays above the uh, the rocks. Of course, if the rock is too big, you're going to hit it. But uh, I was very impressed with that with that machine. I will definitely be uh, renting that again. Home Depot. It was. Um, it's something like 70 something dollars for four hours. I got it for 24 hours, which was a uh, hundred and nine dollars or something like that. I think it's a great deal. It saves you a bunch of bending over and it is, uh, you know, it's self propelled, but it is still, uh, you know, makes you sweat uh, just pushing it around just because of turning it and, uh, maneuvering it is still a little tricky because there's not you know automatic steering on it or anything so it's uh still gives you a workout but man it makes cutting trails through thicket and stuff so much easier all right i highly recommend it well thanks for uh watching hope you got something out of it we'll see you next time